Before we start the video guys, you can get your first month of Envato Elements for only $9 via the link below. If you've watched this channel or if you're a video editor, you probably know what Envato Elements is. It's a pretty good deal. Check it out. Every subscription helps the channel. All right, let's get into this video. And how's it going guys? It's your boy Josh Alufemi, live from LA. I know it's been a while since we've dropped the tutorial, but we've been working on a lot of cool digital products behind the scenes. You've probably seen a bunch of incredible tutorials from my bro Dave, an extremely talented video director, audio engineer, and basically everything in between. Well, in this tutorial, he's gonna be showing you a really cool trick regarding removing the annoying dry mouth clicks that you can get when you're talking into a mic. All right, Dave, floor is yours. Hey everybody, how's it going? Dave here. Today I want to show you guys how to get rid of those sticky, wet, dry, annoying noises that you might get from being too close to your microphone. Now, although that might be desirable in genres like ASMR, ASMR. When we're talking about podcasts and narration and voiceovers, that might be something you want to take out. Now, in one of Josh's previous videos, he got this comment that said, Josh's mic is slightly too close. You can hear the wetness from his voice. Pulling his mic back three, four more inches will still get the clarity, but eliminate most of those distracting noises. That is totally correct, but I think Josh likes being up close to the microphone and getting that kind of low voice of his uh, recorded. <laughs> but something to note is the proximity effect. Now, the proximity effect just means that the closer we are to a microphone, the more lower frequencies we can pick up. Josh uses this Zoom H1N recorder with a pop filter, because if you don't use a pop filter, it doesn't sound great. To check, check, plosives, 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 plosives. And getting up close to the microphone picks up more of these lower frequencies, but obviously introduces other stuff. Now we're talking about broadcast quality audio. It just simply means that we want the audio as loud as possible. But when we bring up the audio, that means we're bringing everything else up. So annoying frequencies, mouth clicks, all that kind of stuff. So we want to take those out and then bump the audio up to a decent level. Now, I want to show you guys how to do that with a third-party plugin by Isotope in the RX pack. It's amazing. It just works so well. So we're going to jump into Premiere. Now, you can do this in any kind of software that allows third-party plugins. I'm just going to do it in Premiere because that's what most of us work in. First of all, you want to make sure that after you buy the plugin, you can see it. So you want to come into Preferences under the Audio tab and click on Audio Plugin Manager. And if you can't see the plugin, you can just scan and it'll find the plugin that you've bought or are looking for. So I've got a video right here with no background music that Josh sent me over from one of his previous videos. And I'm just going to drag that into my timeline. And I'm quickly going to pick a section to treat. He's talking about Clubhouse in this video. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into editing. I'm going to come into the audio track mixer. If you can't see that, go up to window, go up to window and make sure you got audio track mixer selected. I'm going to go up here on that little tab and go into the plugin and find the plugin and apply that. And it automatically applies it with all the default settings. Now we're going to double click and go in and see what our options are. It's got a few presets right here that you can start with, but let's just go with like the default preset it gives us. Now that is being applied to track one. Now let's see what it does. Witty, it's completely different because in Clubhouse, your description sec. Now already in four seconds, it's taken out 50 clicks. You may have not noticed and just trigger warning for you, as soon as you hear this, you probably won't be able to unhear it in any podcast or recording you'll ever listen to. So just to warn you, <laughs> I'm just going to click on this output clicks only tab so we can see what it's taken out. That's what it's taken out. Okay. Now I'm going to play the recording with the plugin and without the plugin so you can see what it's actually doing. I'm going to play it with the plugin now witty it's completely different because in clubhouse your description section is basically like a newspaper basically all right and then i'm gonna bypass the plugin witty it's completely different because in clubhouse your description section is basically like a new do you hear that 
I'm going to go a bit more aggressive to the plugin. I'm just going to explain really quick what the plugin is doing. You've got sensitivity. you got the frequency skew, so you can get it to focus on more of the lower frequencies or the higher frequencies. And then this right here is really interesting. It's the click widening. So basically, it kind of chooses how much it's going to widen and repair that uh, sound around the clicky sound. So you can just adjust that slider and just refine how much of those clicks you want to eliminate. So let's get a bit more aggressive with it. And I'm just going to turn it on and I'm just going to listen to just the output clicks. As with any plugin, you don't want to go ham with all the settings and like it's just going to ruin the sound. You kind of want to refine stuff and just make sure you're using the right settings as with any kind of effect or plugin. So I think I like it around there. Might pull this back a tiny bit. And this is before. Witty, it's completely different because in Clubhouse, your description section is basically like a newspaper, basically. And now I'm going to turn the plugin on. Witty, it's completely different because in Clubhouse, your description section is basically like a new now in six seconds it's taken out 101 clicks now let's see what's taken out now in seven seconds it took out 110 clicks that is nearly impossible to do manually and it would take you forever to do so this is such a good plugin such a smart plugin if you didn't know existed till now it will totally change your life. It has for me. I just use it on pretty much every recording that comes in. Not to an extreme amount, but there's always a touch of mouth de-click in all the recordings that come in. So there you go. That's how I get rid of those mouth clicky sounds. This is the only specific plugin that I know of that works really well with those mouth clicks. You'll have other plugins that are called de-click plugins that would get rid of clicky sounds like the ones you get from vinyl recordings. If you didn't know about this tool, now you kind of know that that exists. I'll leave a link in the description. Until next time, see you guys. Dave, thank you so much for such an incredibly talented tutorial. The entire audience loves you. We want to keep seeing content from you. We always learn so much. Guys, please make sure to share this video with anyone that needs to see it. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Remember to check out Envato Elements. You can get it for $9 for the first month. And as always, remember to keep it chill.